Hey, welcome to part 38. We will look at some more questions today. The previous part has been posted in the members area. Cloud Kernel, Cloud Ninja members can access it for a very small premium. Like I always say, this channel is all about helping you clear AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud certifications, Mickey Mouse starter level certification, intermediate or advanced, all three levels of certifications. Become a Cloud Kernel or a Cloud Ninja member for a very small premium. Mind you, for a very small premium, you can become a Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja member, which will give you access to so many variety of important questions. The free questions plus the important questions on the paid area will help you clear the certification and at least attack all the concepts successfully. Let us look at the questions now. The company needs an event management platform to accept registrations from upcoming event. The platform must perform a single invocation of an existing AWS Lambda function 10 minutes after the user completes a new account registration. What solution would meet the requirements? So that means in short, you have registered. Okay? And the moment you have registered after 10 minutes, we have to invoke a Lambda function. What is a Lambda function? It is a serverless compute. Uh, computing so see compute when we talk about AWS we tell give me the compute solution EC2 lambda EC2 lambda EC2 lambda EC2 is not serverless lambda is serverless lambda is two rupees people it is dirt cheap dirt cheap dirt cheap the problem is it only lasts for 15 minutes if you want ultimate satisfaction beyond 15 minutes it will auto kill premature ejaculation that is the problem with lambda okay now let us see what are the solutions given first is they are saying boss we will make use DynamoDB, see DynamoDB, who uses it? Applications like Uber, Lyft, etc. For high performance applications, it is a NoSQL database. It is NoSQL, 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 fully managed. Very expensive, very expensive, very expensive. And do you need this here? So they are saying we will use uh, DynamoDB. We will set the TTL for 10 minutes, that is time to live for 10 minutes and invoke the Lambda function when the TTL expires. See, whenever we have such kind of questions and options, we should always think about what are, what are the cost effective solutions. It is always about cost. Even if it is not mentioned explicitly, implicitly, you should also think about cost. DynamoDB is very expensive, very, 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 very expensive. It is like a Mercedes Benz. So uh, this will not work. It is an expensive solution. So we will cross this for now. We'll see if we have a cheaper solution than this. B says that, hey guys, let's use CloudWatch events. We'll see. CloudWatch, etc. It is about logging, events, logging, and etc. It is about logging. It is not about this kind of use case where you are trying to activate a Lambda function for after registration. These are not monitoring logs, okay? C is telling that, hey guys, let's make use of SQS delay queue. SQS, what is SQS? It is a simple messaging queue, uh, queue service. You, it is a fully managed queue service for microservices, distributed application, and serverless applications. So one thing that is good is here, we, we, we can send a message to SQS delay queue and set it to 600 seconds, which is equal to 10 minutes and then uh, configure the Lambda function with the queue as a, so this should work. This is a cheaper solution, SQS is much cheaper than DynamoDB, but let us look at other option D also. See option D, it is telling that let's put the record in Kinesis data stream, Kinesis is far expensive than SQS, it does a similar kind of job and then configure Lambda function to use data stream as a event source. But what about 600 seconds? It is saying you may use a shared iterator at timestamp to 10 minutes. See, Kinesis is the best use case is serverless streaming of the data services. Okay. See, this is a uh, shard iterator. What it does is a shard iterator, it expires 5 minutes when it is returned to the requester. A shard iterator specifies the shard position from which to start reading the records. This is about reading the records and writing the records. It is not about invoking the lambda function after 10 minutes. So here they have not even they are saying configure the lambda function to use data stream as an event source and shard iterator. Shard iterator is also about in the streams from which message it should start picking up. So that's why this would not be my answer in this case. Option C is the right answer where we will use SQS as a delay queue and then set the queue to 600 seconds. Now you might have what is a delay queue. See this is SQS delay queue. Pause the video, read this carefully. The delay queue lets you postpone the delivery of new messages and consumers for a number of seconds. So in this case, we are telling 600 seconds, which is equal to 10 minutes. Okay. Now this is the next question. How would a developer notify users when a new item is written to a DynamoDB table without affecting the provisioning throughput? So this suppose this is a DynamoDB database, a table is there and whenever a new item comes in, it needs to notify the user. Notify means through SMS or emails and etc. So in this options where they have used uh, the notification service, they have used two places, SNS notification here and SNS notification here. So remaining two options, we will straight away cancel. Why we will cancel? Because the option B, they are not making use of any notification service and option D also, they are not making use of any notification service. So, See, Lambda is not a notification service. Option D is saying we will use Lambda notification. There is nothing called Lambda notification service. Okay. Uh, the Lambda functions are different. There is nothing called Lambda notification function there. See, 
I always say, I always say, boss, listen to me carefully. Whenever in the certification, you have to use ready-made solution that AWS gives you. Don't try to create a custom solution. We don't want intelligent people. We want people who understand AWS services and features. Okay, got it. Now between A and C, between A and C, what do you see? See the problem that I'm seeing is it is going to pull every one second and this will affect the performance. And here we are saying without affecting the provision throughput. Option C will affect the provision throughput. So that's why option C is also not my answer. My answer is finally option A. So here what is happening in option A, they are setting up a DynamoDB stream to trigger Lambda function that sends SNS notifications to users. See what is SNS meant for? It is a simple notification service. It does, does a pub sub service. It is a pub sub service to send notifications. It can do application to application notification, application to person notification. Both are possible in this case. So this hence this solution is good and this will not even affect the provision throughput from a performance standpoint. This, this solution is good because it will wait for the new item to come and when the new item suppose a new item comes only for that item it will trigger the lambda function unlike option c where it is saying every one second i will go and check 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 because every one second if you go and keep checking you are going to get tired your performance will go down and you will use the provision throughput you that will get screwed up so that is why option c is incorrect Okay, now in this case, the next question, the developer is writing a web application that is deployed on EC2 instances. So EC, EC2, see, this is the compute service. It is meant, it is not serverless. It is full server, full server, full server, full, not serverless. So these are about servers. EC2 is a compute, elastic compute service. So these guys are creating web applications, putting on EC2 instances behind ALB. What is ALB? It is a, a load balancing solution. It is a, for application load balancing. So if there, there, is, there are multiple EC2 instances and it kind of does a load balancing. Suppose you are a team lead and you have five developers, you have work coming in. Will you give all the work to two developers only and keep three developers? I don't know. You will try to equally distribute the work. That is the same thing ALB does. You can pause the previous part and watch that documentation. Read it if you want. The developer must add CloudFront distribution in all ALB. See, CloudFront is all about content delivery network. The people like Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. They make use of such services. And the developer must ensure that the customer data from outside VPC is encrypted in transit. So that encryption should also happen. Now you want to choose uh, two. Uh, we choose two options in this case. Now for this question, I'm not going to give you the answer. You will have to, like, if you think you know the answer and with the justification, you can put it in your uh, in the comments. And then we will try to see which, which ones are correct. But uh, think about options uh, uh, B, C, uh, and E. Uh, which, which, which two would you pick? Guys, this brings us to the end of this part. Please subscribe if you have not already done. If you want to onboard the cloud journey, AWS, Google Cloud, Azure Cloud, uh, entry level certifications, intermediate, advanced certifications, everything is here. There are 900 plus videos. It is established that a lot of people have cleared certification using these contents. For a very, very small premium, my friend, for a very small premium, you can become a cloud kernel, cloud ninja member. With those small premium, you can get so many important portions. The free content plus the paid content together will enhance your chances of clearing the certification. Always remember, this is all about understanding the concepts because certification also means that you will have to do the uh, job also when you get that kind of project and you should be able to work if you don't understand the concepts. Now, it will be very difficult during that time. The learning curve will be very high. So go through all of these videos that we have created, which will help you enhance your skills and concepts understanding how do we weed out the wrong answers and come to a right conclusion okay previous some parts we have put in uh, the members area please uh, become a member cloud kernel and cloud ninja member and access it cloud kernel or cloud ninja okay this brings us to the end of part 38 we will post uh, many more such parts